Okay. Hang on a sec. Hello, everybody. Oh, wow, we have 47 people here. Hello. Ayan. Ayan na mother. We're live and we're live on Facebook and we're here today. Hello, IFNG and hello, world. Tara, ilakas ako, big brother. Uh, yes. today, today is our first lecture for 2022 and we are graced again by the presence of our mother dearest, Mama D. Okay, hashtag Mama D cares. Ano yung tagline? Tagline mother, yung tagline. Alagang ina, turong ina, kwentong ina, matuto ka, ina ka. Hi guys! <laughs> Happy New Year everyone! Again, Happy Majesty. New Year Mama D. Happy New, Year. Happy New Year, Sir Manuel. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for that introduction, everyone. Hello, I miss you all here at IFNG again. I am so happy and privileged to be here in front of you lecturing about the IELTS again. And it's 2022. We're going to start our year correctly, of course, with our goals on the IELTS examination. Okay, but before that, let me just share Okay, our discussion for tonight. Okay, hold on. Okay, so sharing now, mga anak ko. Okay, so while I'm sharing, guys, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Please type in your answers right there at the chat box of Zoom or on Facebook, okay? Okay, let me just share this one. Okay, sharing, shared. Okay, <clears throat> Happy New Year, everyone. So how was your celebration, okay? How was your celebration last um, New Year, diba? I, I trust and believe that you guys were able to uh, celebrate it in a blessed way, okay? Anxious, that's okay, my love. Okay, from Vince, doing fine here from Qatar. Okay, by the way, I want to see where our audiences are from tonight, okay? So please do type in your locations right now if you're from Qatar, okay? Uh, Dubai, United uh, uh, Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Pampanga. <laughs> okay. All right, so let me just share this on the Facebook page of Elite Intellect 9 right now. Okay, guys, from Jeddah. Okay, good. All right, what else? Okay, we have from Kuwait. Okay, from Oman. There we go. Okay, so let me just open my monitor here for our uh, discussion for tonight. Okay, as in no Malaysia. Okay. So yeah, one of the most important things from Baguio City, Apayao. There you go from Albay. Oh my God, that's where I'm from, Albay. Diba? Catriona Magnayon Gray, 22, Albay. <laughs> okay, for those of our, our viewers on Facebook, okay. Good evening, IFNG and admins and members from Ati Genji. Good evening from Rana Borben and of course, Chanil Nudo from Saudi Arabia and from Arlene Domingo Ligo. Hi from Riyadh, from Singapore. Hello, Kalibu Aklan from Zamboanga. Oy, chabakano, diba? Yes, okay, so guys. We are going to be discussing about the listening examination for tonight, okay? Unfortunately, okay, one fact that I would always tell my students, okay, on the discussion is that sometimes, really, the students do not focus as much attention when it comes to the listening or reading examination, okay? They, they tend to focus on the speaking and on the writing, and then they end up becoming so prim when it comes to their <laughs> After their listening and writing, after the writing and speaking, and then what have you? Okay, the listening exam is five point five, and the write and the reading exam is like. Oh, oh, wait. Let me just mute unmuted people. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah, as I was as I, as I was saying, guys, one thing that I would want you guys to remember is that you should not be choosing. Okay, one favorite exam, okay, on the IELTS, okay, the listening, reading, writing, and speaking, they are all important, and they're all not easy, okay? If I will be telling you that the listening is easy, mga anak, I would be lying to you, because some people, that's their weakness, okay? For some people, that's their weakness. Like, let's say um, some people tend to get like a 9.0 in speaking, and then in their listening, they got a 
No? And that's one thing that we would want to happen on your IELTS preparation, hence explaining why Mama D is here to teach you about the listening, okay, for this week. Hello from Davao City. Hello, Michael Laurel. Hello, Mama D doing fine here in Abu Dhabi from Princess Tarlac, Derek. Anak. Okay, Kalibu Aklan from Puldet. Okay, there we go. And Kagayan the ROCD for TJ Sanchez. Okay, so please, guys, tag your friends right now on Facebook. Okay, share this to your friends on Facebook so that they'll be able to attend our discussion for tonight. Okay, so let me just share my PowerPoint with you guys. Okay, Ashimbe, where's, where's, where's PowerPoint? <laughs> Ayun na naman. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, please, pagbigyan nyo nga ako. Will you please do this with me? Okay? Ready, ha? Kailangan magka-clap, ha? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I hope nag-clap kayo. Kasi yung mga pumalakpak daw makakapasa ngayon. 2022! <laughs> ulet, ulet, ulet. Ulet pa? Okay, ulet, ulet. Ready, guys? Dali, ready, ha? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Pluck, pluck. Yes, di ba maraming makakapasa? Please finish the lyrics, okay? Wala pa rin tatalo sa Alaska. <laughs> Ako dapat sasagot, sorry. Ulet, ulet, anak. Okay, again. Ulet, ulet. <laughs> Okay. Wala pa rin tatalo sa Alaska. Yes! Very good! <laughs> Pinarindigan yung pagiging Ariana. Yes, di ba? But we need silbo pa. Alaska! <laughs> My whistling. Okay, what a fun way to start, di ba? Hello, Baba D. From me and Ate Genji, Dabo represents. Sila Ate Grace and Ray Ray. Okay, more power. Happy New Year. Hello, Mark. There you go, Hazel, Halita. Okay, so yeah. What a fun way to start our discussion for this evening. Okay, yes, of course, we always have to start our discussions happy. Diba? I know that there's a lot of negativity in the world right now. Whatever is happening with the pandemic, we just have to keep focused with our goals. Okay, so welcome to another fun and informative discussion here at IFNG as regards the listening examination techniques class one okay so this is a series of classes with which i will be detailing on the important techniques and as well as of course the information that you must know for you to get a 9.0 on the listening examination okay so for the first question for tonight before i introduce myself from Davo city with love navik okay <clears throat> so do you think guys it's impossible to get a 9.0 in listening Okay, do you think it's impossible to get a 9.0 in listening? Yes or no? Come on, let's type in our answers right there. Type it, girl. Come on, I want to see your answer right there. No, from Joy. Good. Okay, what else? What about the others? No, no, yes. No, it's not impossible to get a 9.0 score on the listening examination of the IELTS, given that this is one of the examinations with which, let's say, out of 100%, 30% of the students get a 9.0 all the time. And having that on your record could be a good thing, okay? But unfortunately, some students, they have this pejorative, okay? When you say pejorative, it's a negative thinking or ideation as regards to the listening examination. And they think that it's just, nah, it's just that. Okay, guys, due to the burgeoning of technology, due to the burgeoning of different types of concepts, of course, the IELTS, updated your listening examinations too. So one thing that you need to remember is never underestimate the power of the listening exam. Hence explaining why I'm here right now to teach you about the listening test. Okay, so if it's your first time to join us and it's your first time to see this creature right here, I am pleased to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect IELTS OET NCLEX and NMC CBT specialist PH. I am an IELTS expert for the past 12 years, also known as your Mama Dragon, Mother Dragon, Mama D, Mother D, Mommy D, and I am a half Filipino, half caricature. <laughs> Do you know what caricatures are? <laughs> Like the drawings, which are overly exaggerated. Yeah, I tend to be a caricature all the time. And I, I actually love it that you can act, you can radiate energy and positivity from the screen towards your screen. Right? Okay, guys. So, 
All right. Before we begin, guys, want to know a secret to success. Okay. All right. Here we go. You know what? I always apply this in my life, especially this 2022. I apply this in my life. Okay. <clears throat> and the Lord, he is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor, for, nor forsake you. Do not fear nor be dismayed. This is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8. Okay. Remember that every situation that you are going to, every goal that you would want to go to, every aspiration that you would want to do, you always have to put the Lord in front of you. He should be the one pulling you towards your goal. Not you should, you should, it should not be the other way around. The problem with the people is that sometimes they would be the ones who's pleading, Lord, I want to go here. Come on, let's go, Lord. Come on. No. Okay. That's not how it works. Okay. You have to always put the Lord in front of you. Okay. And of course, if the Lord is in front of you, by all means, every aspiration that you would want to do, all the sagacity that you would want to achieve in your life, it will become a momentous journey. Okay, this we declare this 2022 in Jesus' name. Amen, guys. Amen. There we go. So what a fun way to start, right? Okay, so tonight, you know what? The students love it when I do this. I want to say, you want to say, you Okay, so let's now start with your listening lecture for tonight. We're going to be using Elite Notes, okay? So if it's your first time to join us, Elite Notes is I'm going to be writing down the concepts here. And then later on, I will be sending the handout to the admins of IFNG so that you will get a copy of the handout. Okay, um, Sir Joseph, how can I get a copy of that one? Uh, you should like IFNG, that's IELTS Filipino Nurses Group. Okay, like IFNG, IELTS Filipino Nurses Group, chat the admins of IFNG to add you on the group chat of IFNG because they will be forwarding the handout there. Okay, and for my students who are watching, of course, I'll be sending this to you guys. Okay, keep of that. Okay, so let me just share elite notes for tonight. Grabe na miss kayo mga anak. I miss the crowd of IFNG really. I uh, I always uh, I always tell this to Sir Jealous. Sabi ko na kami magbunga ng IFNG during the break last December. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Anna. Okay, so let's begin, guys. All right. <clears throat> okay. So first things first, guys. Let's take a look at the concept of the listening exam. So tonight we're going to be looking at the different expectations as well as of course the different techniques that you must know when you are handling the listening examination. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay. So let's talk about the IELTS listening. Okay. Wow. Taray, Sir Joseph. Guys, by the way, make this trend. Type in hashtag Mama D Cares on Facebook. Okay, hashtag Mama D Cares is our official hashtag. Okay, so the IELTS listening. First things first, just to set the expectations, guys. Okay, the IELTS listening is the easiest of all the examinations. Okay, this is the easiest okay when we say it is the easiest what we mean by this one is it does not require rocket science knowledge for you to amass a score of 9.0 based on our uh, based on our experience guys okay at elite intellect five out of 15 okay test takers usually amass Okay, a score of 9.0 in listening. Okay, that is if you know how to apply important techniques for you to get there. Okay, so the task, guys, on the listening examination is for you to listen to a recording. Okay, while. Take note of the word while. Okay, I'll be writing it down in all caps. Okay, listen to a recording while answering the questions. Okay, guys, this is an instantaneous or a simultaneous activity, meaning that you are expected to multitask. Okay, you are expected to multitask. Parang yung ginagawa ng ano, ng jowa mo sa yon, nagbu multitasking, dalawa kayo pinagsabay niya. <laughs> <laughs> Who got? Oh, bato bato sa langit ang tamaan masakit. Sorry. <laughs> you would need to multitask, guys. 
on the examination, okay? There's one thing that you would need to remember is that you would need to, uh, what they call this, you would need to simultaneously answer a question while listening to the recording. That is why it is a multitasking activity. Diba? Yun naman ay tawag ngayon. During our time, when your husband or your wife goes with another person, they cheated on you. Ngayon, isipin mo nag, ano, nag, nag multitasking lang siya. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, how many items do you have to answer when it comes to the listening examination? Okay? You are expected to answer 40 items. Okay? So, Sir Joseph, for me to get a score of not, uh, for me to get a score of 7.0 and above, okay? For me to get a score of 7.0 and above, how many items do I need to get correctly? Okay? So, I always tell my students to aim for 30 to 32, okay? 30 to two, 32 items correctly for you to get that 7.0 and above. But of course, guys, why would you aim for just, uh, what do you call this, a 7.0 if you are more than capable of amassing, uh, if you are capable of amassing a 9.0? Okay, sir, <clears throat> 9.0, is it 40 or 39 to 40? 39 to 40, guys, is a still a 9.0. Okay, and of course, time to answer on the listening examination is you have 30 minutes, okay? You have 30 minutes to answer and take note of this, okay? You will be given extra 10 minutes. Okay, to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Okay, so guys, look at this, okay? When you are on the listening examination, it is not as time-constrained as the other examinations, okay? Basically, you will be given one hour here. to uh, you're, You'll be given 30 minutes to listen to the recording, and then after that, you will have extra 10 minutes to transfer your answers. To <clears throat> Excuse my throat, guys. I am so sorry. I think I may have swallowed a lot of things in the dark last night that I am not proud of. <laughs> No, I have UTI. I have UTI kasi. Huh? UTI, Sir Joseph. Upper throat infection. <laughs> ano ba yan? Umpisang umpisang taon, Sir Joseph? Uh, nagpapasabog ka na naman. <laughs> okay, so yeah. That's one thing that you would need to remember when it comes to the IELTS listening, okay? You will be given extra 10 minutes to transfer your answers, okay? Apart from that, guys, what I, oh, sorry, what I would want you to remember here, okay, on the 10 minutes time is for you to go over, okay? Sir, what do you mean by go over? Okay, when we say go over, guys, okay, let's say you are given, um, 10 minutes, okay, on the examination. And then you cannot find an answer for number 32 and number 35. So basically, for going over, you're just going to guess, okay? You're going to guess. Hulaan mo na lang. Ang ano dyan, okay? You need to guess the answer there. Do not leave a blank space with your answer sheets, okay? Do not leave blank spaces, okay, with your answer sheet. Okay. <clears throat> so, Sir Joseph, what are the contents of, this, of the listening examination? Okay, let's talk about the contents, guys. Ano ba ang ini-expect natin when it comes to the listening, okay? So, first things first, guys, it is divided into four parts, right? You have your task one, task two, task three, and task four. Okay, so let's talk about this, the listening task one, okay? So, for the listening task one, guys, know and expect that this is a conversation between two people. Okay, it is a conversation between, between two people. <clears throat> okay, and the content of this one is it is on the social conversation. Okay, it is on the social conversation. When you say social conversation, here's an example. You will hear section one. You will hear two friends, Maritus and Beckbeck, who are about to visit their friend Julie at the hospital. They are talking about the new gossips roaming around the society. You now have some time to look at questions one to five. <laughs> see Maritus and see Beckbeck. <laughs> Hello, Abigail. Thank you so much. I think I may have swallowed firecrackers. No, ano. 
<laughs> Nung bagong taon kaya dahil to kataas yung energy ko, di ba? Okay, <clears throat> so it's a conversation. Usually guys, no, your part one would be uh, this is your numbers one to ten. Okay? This is usually your numbers one to ten and the most common type of items here. Okay, common items. Okay, the common items here for uh, task one could be fill in the blanks, okay, or gap fill. Okay, and finishing sentences. Okay. Ganoon daw yung recording mo, no? Oh, oh. Hello, Maritis. How are you doing today? Hello, Backpack. Oh, I'm actually quite energetic today. I have heard that the daughter of our neighbor is pregnant and she does not know who the father is. Quite a shame. Ang papakinggan mo, chismisan. Parang gusto ko mag-roll. Ay, go. Go. Okay, <clears throat> so look at that, guys, okay? Basically, on the part one, it is a conversation between two people, okay? It's still on the social conversation. So examples of that is um, an example of your part one, could, or your, your section one could be inquiry at a hotel. There you go. Okay, or an item that is for sale. Okay, so look at that, all right? <clears throat> this is the section one of the listening examination. It is on a social conversation. And usually this is items one to 10, okay? Now, Sir Joseph, what about, Uy, huwag ka naman mag-angry, anak. Pasensya ka na, ha? Kung ano man nagawa ko siya, huwag ka magalit. <laughs> okay, task two. <clears throat> okay, so for the task to you guys, okay, what is the section two of the listening examination? Okay, so for the task to you guys, this the difference between the task two and the task one is even if they are still on the social context, okay, this is a monologue, okay? When you say it is a monologue, which means this has one speaker, okay? This has one, one speaker. It's usually a presentation, okay? There you go. So it's a monologue, okay? So usually this has one speaker and it's still on the social context. Okay, so it is on the social context. So what do we mean by that one? If it's on the social context, okay? It is usually items 10 to 20, okay? And most common item types here are maps. Okay, you do have the maps, okay, or multiple choices. Okay, so Sir Joseph, what is an example of uh, the part, the, 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 the section two, okay? A common example of this one is um, a talk about tur a tourist information. A talk about tourist information. Okay, so for example, a park. Okay, so there is a presenter there that is talking about the park, okay, for the guests of the tour. Okay, so that's it. <clears throat> Section two. You will hear a talk about the new mall brought to you by Ms. Weaver. You now have some time to look at questions 10 to 15, 11 to 15. Okay, so, kapag kaganya na, maranig mo si Ms. Weaver. Di ba ganito siya magsalita? <clears throat> Welcome everybody to the new groundbreaking of the mall brought to you by the city center. We are here at the first floor. The first floor. Si Mrs. Weaver parang may sakit sa utak ano, but salita. <laughs> yeah, so here guys, there is one presenter and they're talking about a location. Okay? I know that during your listening exercises you may have encountered this whale watching. Diba? Whale watching, the new mall, Lunar Round Park and gardens. There you go. Diba? So if you're going to be looking at that, that is your section two with which it's talking about the social context of a location. Okay. So it's usually items 11 to 20. Okay. And it is um, most common here are the maps. Okay. I'm the map. I'm the map. Naku maraming nalulukas sa maps ng IELTS. Maniwala kayo. Okay. 
So, Sir Joseph, what is the next one? Let's take a look at section three. Okay, so what is there to know when it comes to the third section? Okay, so the section three, guys, is a conversation. Okay, between up to four people. Okay, when we say it's up to four people, sometimes the worst case scenario is that those people have different accents, okay? Those people right there, they have different accents and they're talking about different things, okay? And it is on the academic context, okay? It is on the academic content. Okay, so usually, guys, no? These are items 21 to 30, okay? And apart from that, common items here that you might encounter are multiple choices, Okay, multiple choices, multiple choice items, or gap fill, or fill in the blanks. Okay. So, ano ang example, Sir Joseph, ng task three? Okay, some examples of part three, you do have uh, making an assignment. Okay, making an assignment or research, okay, or... Uh, sometimes it is consultation with a professor. Okay, mali spelling ko. <laughs> okay, so it is a consultation with a professor or a lecturer. Okay, so look at that. <clears throat> Lecturer na nga lang. Ganyan naman sa exam. Kung di mo kayang ispell lang matino, e palitan mo yung word. Okay. So, um, I know that some of you may ha might have encountered this before. Uh, let's say, <clears throat> Francis Philip, agbuya ka. Well, nagbuya ka man manong dali. Buya, anak. May katoy. <laughs> okay. So, an example of this one is, um, let's say, you'll hear four classmates, Joanne, Kara, and a uh, Luisito and Batisto talking to their professor about their assignment. You know, have some time to look at questions 21 to 26. Okay. So, mga ganyan, no? Okay. So, if you're going to be looking at that, guys. So, if you're going to be looking at that, basically, it's talking about how to make an assignment. Oh, professor, I have a question about dogs. What are your questions about dogs? Do our dogs born to bark or do they learn how to bark? Your professor, oh, they're basically born how to bark because that is the way that they converse. What about birds? Oh, what type of bird? Big bird or small bird? Ako pala ka usap. Hala, ilokado si Mama D. When uh, I am actually, guys, I am Italian. Okay, my mother, my my father is Ita, and my father is Ilocano. My mother is Iloka. My my mother is Ilocano. My father is Ita. Hence, explaining Italiano. <laughs> Ilocano represent what? What? Diba? Raise your hand, auntie, if you're Ilocano. Hello, Ilocanos. Mga kaibigan ko, mga bisaya dyan, kapampangan, chabacano. Ano pa ba yung mga language sa Pilipinas? Kangkanai. Diba? Yung mga kaibigan ko dyan, yes. And of course, my fellow Americans. Hello, Americans. I love America. There are so many Americans there. It's like America. <laughs> There are a lot of Americans there. <laughs> there are a lot of Americans there. It's like America. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, hi, Mama Di. Ang ganda niyo po. Ano ka ba naman, Clarice? Just huwag mo sinasabi yung mga bagay na alam na natin. Charing lang. <laughs> Kan ka na, eh, Ilocano. Hello, Lani, anak. Okay. Hoy, hindi naman, anak. Ano lang to? Um, prayer lang to. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so, Let's take a look at task four or section four, okay? All right. So, Sir Joseph, what is there to expect when it comes to task four? Okay. <clears throat> Here, we call it exorcism of Emily Rose. Okay. Why? Kasi dito kailangan mo sapian na kung ano-anong bagay para maintindihan mo yung section four na yan. Guys, one thing that you would need to remember is this is the usually the most difficult section. Okay, this is usually the most 
difficult section okay guys expect here that sometimes the recording will skip answers okay sometimes the recording will skip answers okay this is the number one trick that the IELTS does to confuse the students is that they're going to skip you're expecting number 36 and then the recording will say number 38 Okay, and then it will go back to number 36 and 37. So that's totally fine. Okay, that's totally fine. The goal is to confuse you. Okay, mga anak, one thing that you need to remember for listening is don't be confused. Okay, sometimes the recording will skip answers at this point. Okay, and of course, the context of this one is on the academic context. <clears throat> okay, so usually it is a lecture or a presentation. All right, and there is one presenter. Okay, sino dito ang nakapansin? <clears throat> Who among you has noticed this, okay? On the listening and recording, okay? When they are asking you to read questions, okay? You're gonna have some time to look at questions one to five. You're gonna have some time to look at questions five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 25 to uh, 20 to 25. Tapos pagdating sa section four, you know, have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Diba? Pag binabasa mo siya, increments of five lang all throughout, and then in comes your section four, it would be like entire 10. Um, so dito, 10, 10 items that you would need to read. Yeah, okay? The goal of that one is for you to panic. But I always tell my students, don't read 31 to 40. You don't have time for that, okay? You only read 31 to 35, and then you wait for the segue of the recording, okay? The speaker might pause, or they're going to talk about something that is not related to the topic. That's the time for you to read number 36 to, 35, 36 to 40. Okay, I think we have a message here from Shannon Sagadan Lamponi RMT. Hi, sir. Thank you. I already passed my exam. I've watched some of your videos for here. Thank you. Hey, Shaman, congratulations, Anak. We are glad here at IFNG that we were able to help you on your IELTS preparation. To God be the glory. Good job, Shaman. Okay. <clears throat> Oy, ano ba yan? Nakakata. Alam mo yung daming nakakapasa. Diba? Yes, kaloka sabi ni Joy at Hazel. Yes, sometimes guys, what happens on the fourth section is that it's going to ask you to read 31 to 40. Whereas you're used to 7.5 in speaking, overall 7. What? What? Shout out. Good job, anak. God, you are good. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so look at that, Okay. For the people who are watching IFNG for the first time, okay, guys, believe me, a lot of lives have been changed here at IELTS Filipino Nurses Group, okay? I cannot count, okay, on my... Uh, I cannot count the students that were able to uh, discover IELTS Filipino Nurses Group and then watch the videos, join the activities, and they all got their target scores, okay? I still remember uh, during... During Mr. M, Sir Manuel, Mom Gladys's time, Sir Jeffrey's time... Yeah, they're, they're all the students there, all the students there, mga anak, lahat yun, pastors ng IL. So you keep on working on your goals. Yes, since day one, sino sumaybayan ko ang progress nga? Katuwa, Praj. Ay, congratulations siya, man. O, diba? Naman. <clears throat> Okay, so guys, now keep on working towards your goals. Keep on watching videos here at IFNG. It's not just Elite Intellect. It's also the other institutions who will be lecturing here and teaching you our ideas and the things that could guide you when it comes to your IELTS examination. Okay. Hey. All right. Congrats, Kamed Tech, Tech Lounge. Congrats, Kamed Tech Lounge. Ang social naman, may lounge sila. Bakit kaming mga nurses, yung lounge lang namin, yung lamesa, tapos natutulog pa kami sa ilalim ng lamesa. <laughs> o kaya may dala kaming unan sa duty, tapos nakaganong kami dun sa lamesa. Oh. Tapos kapag ka ano, huwag nagkukoda yung pasyente, sila yung pasyente na ito. Kaya may... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's take a look. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at the flow of listening, okay? Now, if you're going to be looking at important, daming napupulot na aral here. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. M. Okay, so one thing that you would need to remember, guys, okay? You have to master the flow of listening, okay? Bago tayo mag-discuss ng kung ano-anong technique pa, 
Okay? The flow of listening muna tayo. Okay? So, let's talk about before the listening exam. Okay, before the recording plays. Okay? Bago mag-play ang recording. Okay? What should you be doing before the recording plays? Okay? So first things first, mga anak, is that I would want you to remember to read the instructions carefully. Okay? A lot of people lose good points because they do not read the instructions carefully. Okay? Read the instructions carefully okay especially i want you guys to be particular with the word limit okay i want you to look at the word limit okay so look how many words are you expected to write write no more than two words write no more than pati yung uti ni mama di di ba alam niyo na ibig sabihin ng uti upper throat infection <laughs> Okay, so look at that. Read the instructions carefully. Be very particular with the word limit, mga anak, okay? What else, guys? <clears throat> Read the questions, okay? Listen to how many questions you have to ask. Listen to how many questions you have to study. Okay, so always wait for the recording to tell you this. You now have some time to look at questions one to four. You now have some time to look at questions six to 40. Chilling. <laughs> Ganun yung sa sa'yo, no? Questions six to 40. Agad, agad. Okay, so you would need to listen to how many questions you would have to study. Okay, if the instruction says look at questions one to five, then you better be looking at questions one to five muna, anak. Huwag kang bayani, okay? You don't have time. Okay, sir, ano English na huwag kang bayani? Don't be a hero. Ay, pinag-isipan ko yon. Okay, so, you don't have time, guys, to read questions one to six, one to seven, one to eight. If the instruction says read questions one to four, then you better be focusing on one to four only so as not to create unnecessary panic on the examination. Okay, what else? Another thing that I would want you guys to remember is for you to dissect the questions. Okay, let me teach you on how to dissect a frog. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, Sir Joseph, how do we dissect the questions on the IELTS, okay? First things first, remember three things, okay? If you're taking down notes, write this down, okay? When you see a question, I want you to do this, okay? I want you to encircle, underline, and double underline. Okay, Sir Joseph, what should I be encircling? Okay, encircle the nouns. Okay, encircle the nouns. Underline the verbs. Okay, and double underline the context. Okay, sir, what is the context? The context is what is the item or the question looking for? Ano ba ang hinahanap ng tanong? Okay, so I'll give you an example here. Okay, so let's say this is the question. Okay, look at that. Maria plans to give blank to Jane on the holidays, okay? Ano ang balak ibigay ni Maria kay Jane on the holidays, okay? So, as I have mentioned, guys, for you to remember the questions well, okay? You have to visually separate them, dissect them, okay? So, let's encircle 
the nouns first. Okay? What are the nouns here? Maria plans to give her boyfriend to Jane on the holidays. Taray, generous si Maria. Binigay yung jowa kay Jane. Hashtag sharing is caring, mga sis. <laughs> okay. So let's encircle the nouns first. Okay, we do have Maria. Okay, and we do have Jane. Okay, there we go. Although not a proper noun, let's encircle holiday. Okay, and then let's underline the verb. Okay, what is a verb here? Plans. Okay, and then to give. Give is a verb, guys. Okay, give is a verb. However, this is what exactly the question is looking for, right? What does Maria plan to give Jane on the holiday? So instead of underlining it as a verb, I'm going to be double underlining it as a context for me to remember it later on in the recording, okay? So to give. Okay, now look at that. Sir, what's the purpose of this one? To make your paper dirty. I'm kidding. It's not to make your paper dirty, but it's for you to visually remember the information on your questions. Basically, when you're encircling, you remembered Maria, you remembered Jane, you remembered the holidays, and then you remembered her plan. And then to give, okay? Instead of trying to just encircle everything, okay? This is visual separation of ideas, guys. Very systematic, and it could help you systematic, uh, significantly on your examination. Okay, listen carefully. <clears throat> Oh, you know what, Johnson? I still do not know what I plan to provide for Jane during the holiday. Maybe I'm going to give her a bus ticket. Okay, so what's the answer? What's the answer? What is she going to give Jane during the holidays? Okay, it is what? True friends share. True <laughs> Oh, ulit ko ulit yung recording. Oh, you know what, Johnson? I still do not know what, 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 what I could give Jane during the holidays. But I think I'm going to be providing her with a bus ticket. Okay, so what's the answer? A bus ticket, okay? She is going to give her a bus ticket, okay? Guys on the examination, don't expect that you what you saw, that's exactly what you're going to hear. Give was changed to the word provide. Okay, it's going to be systematically paraphrased. Good job, guys, on getting the answer, which is bus ticket. No, maluwa ang pagkasabi. Oh, I think it's your your Maria. I'm going to give you a bus ticket. <laughs> okay, hashtag Mama D cares. Okay, kwentong ina, alagang ina, turong ina, matuto ka, ina ka. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ano kaya, ano kaya magandang bagong tagline ngayong taon, ano? All right. So what else, guys? What else is another thing that you would need to remember for the listening examination? What should you do while listening? Okay? What should you be doing while you are listening? Okay. So during the listening time, guys, focus on the recording. Do not have a flight of ideas, okay? Because some students, when they are they are when they are listening, okay. Sometimes when the students are listening, they tend to have flight of ideas. No, nasa number twenty eight. Tapos iniisip na kung ano yung lunch mama ya, diba? Or nasa number forty two. Iniisip na agad yung out ano uh, forty two. Nasa number twenty two. Tapos iniisip agad yung outcome ng exam. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that, my child, okay? It's going to ruin your concentration on the exam, okay? Apart from that, listen to the synonyms of the keywords, okay? Expect that they will be paraphrased, okay? Listen to the synonyms, okay? Listen to the synonyms. An example of that one is instead of give, okay? She has paraphrased it to provide, okay? Or hand out. There you go. Okay, what else? Expect that they will be paraphrased. Okay, expect that they will be paraphrased. Okay, don't expect that what you saw on the question, that's exactly what you're going to be looking at, okay, or listening to in the recording. And apart from that, guys, no, if you heard the answer, 
write it down immediately. Do not save it for later, okay? If you heard the answer, write it down immediately. May dumang anghel, tahimik. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Mag-ingay ang mga naka-duty sa COVID! Wala. Okay. So if you heard the answer, write it down immediately, okay? Sir, where can I write it down, okay? If you're going to be taking the paper-based test, question booklet, okay? Write it down on the question booklet. Okay, but if you're going to be taking the computer-based test, then you write it down on the question. You type it on the question window. Okay, on the computer. All right. That's one thing that we need to remember on the listening exam. Okay. Wala nakajuti. Yay! Sabi ni Marites. Si Marites ang nakajuti sa COVID. Mga anak, if you're on duty on COVID, know that you're protected by the Lord. Okay? You're doing your profession. Know that the Lord is always protecting you because you have a brave heart. Okay, of courage for you to go on duty, even if you know that you are vulnerable to the disease. So in Jesus' name, the Lord shall protect you. The Lord shall, shall keep you, okay, and your families as well. Okay, <clears throat> so, si Clarice on duty then, o di ba? Anak, God protect you. Okay, so what else, what else is another thing, okay? So, what should I do, Sir Joseph, after each section, okay? So, Some students, they are practically confused what to do after each section. Okay, so let's talk about that. Okay, so after every section, guys, do not check your work anymore. Okay, you will hear this prompt on the examination. Mga anak, intro pa lang to, ha? Maniwala kayo. Okay, stay to the end of the program. I'll teach you vital techniques, okay? Do not check your work. You will hear this instruction on the examination, okay? Um, <clears throat> you now have half a minute to check your work. Now you're going to hear that. You now have half a minute to check your work. Don't check your work. You cannot replay the recording again. Okay, so basically you're just wasting your time if you're checking your work. Diba? Para yung pag-ibig, pag napalagpas mo, hindi mo na yan mapapabalik. Kuro na sinasabi. Yeah, If if you're done with the section and then you and then the recording says you now have half a minute to check your work, don't check your work anymore. What you should be doing here is to read the following items. Okay, so let's imagine you have 30 seconds. Okay, you have 30 seconds to check your work and then another 30 seconds to read the following questions, put them together. 30 plus 30, you have. 60 seconds to prepare for the next items, okay? So you must prepare for the next recording. Okay, again, guys, do not check your work anymore because basically you can no longer go back to it, okay? You can no longer go back to it. So what you should be doing is You're going to me kakatapos lang ng duty o oh, anak. God keep you, ha? Huh? Okay. What you could what what you should be doing here is not checking your work, but rather you should just focus on the upcoming recording by preparing and reading the questions. Okay? All right, guys. So, <clears throat> before we continue on with our discussion for today, new year, new goals, new aspiration, new sagacity, new joa, charing. <laughs> Okay, guys, so since it's the new year and we would want the students to open their year correctly with positivity, as well as, of course, with a new goal, we are opening 15 slots. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry, pero 15 slots lamang po. We are opening 15 slots for our New Year New Goals IELTS Review promo here at Elite Intellect 9. So, Sir Joseph, what is that about? 
when you enroll at our IELTS promo or our, our New Year New Goals promo, you will get an automatic 3,500 pesos discount okay, on your enrollment fee. So instead of paying 7,500 pesos for unlimited lifetime review, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching, you're only going to be paying 3,999. Okay, so that is our 3,500 discount. After the New Year's New Goal promo, we're going to go back to our regular rate. So mga anak, wag palagpasin ang pagkakataon na ito for you to get 3,500 discount for our review promo. So instead of paying 7,500, pay only 3,999. Sir Joseph, what are the inclusions of that one? Okay, so it is unlimited IELTS review for life, free materials plus free preparation book, free 800 plus writing compilation, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching in writing and speaking, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching with vocabulary pronunciation, and of course, grammar. Okay, free pre-assessment and final assessment, plus unlimited computer-delivered mock examinations, the first in the Philippines to use the computer and mobile-delivered mock examinations. We do have flexible schedules for our international and domestic students, two schedules, 1 p.m. and 11 p.m. PhD, plus the live classes like this are recorded so that you may replay it anytime. Free exam scheduling assistance plus free personal coaching, free personal final coaching with Mama D. Okay, so if you would want to avail of our IELTS review program, okay, please send a message to our Facebook page right there. They are now sending, guys, the link of Elite Intellect 9, okay, uh, here at the, 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 the Zoom platform and, of course, for the Facebook Live, okay? So you may also contact us at Elite Intellect 9.0. That's Elite Intellect IELTS Review and Tutorial Center, Cabinet to One City, or contact us via WhatsApp. That's plus six three nine one six six nine seven two nine nine four. Do send a message. Gamitin yung lang yung promo na IFNG New Year. Okay? Or sige, IFNG. Okay? Gamitin lang po ang promo. This is exclusive for IFNG viewers only. Okay? And it's exclusive for 15 students only. So, do send a message right now to our Facebook page para mabilang na ni Ma'am Tanya yung slot po ninyo. Okay? That's IFNG. Okay? Click the link that was sent there at the comment section of our live tonight or you may send a message on our Facebook page right now. Okay? So, mga anak, iinom lang ako ng tubig, ha? I will just drink water quickly. While I'm drinking water, Ate Genji, any tips for them when it comes to the listening examination? Hi, Mother D. Hello, everybody. So, this is your sister, Dragon. So, good evening, everyone. So, uh, if for others, uh, you find um, listening the easiest uh, uh, subtest, but for me, it's not. It is one of the I should say one of the honors uh, subtests for me because uh, I don't know if it's because of my vertigo. I have a problem on my uh, uh, with my ear, uh, ear so um, I'm not sure if that is the, the reason. But then I find it quite hard. So what I did was hi everyone, hi Sir Manuel, hi Mr. M. Okay, so um, what I did was to follow what Mother D shared with us right now. I know. So just follow those uh, tips. And plus another one is that uh, I don't know if Mother D uh, mentioned it, but then yung mga keywords, Misan, when they try to give you yung, uh, the, the, um, uh, the conversation, uh, the, the people, uh, the people that will do the conversation, you know, they sometimes uh, inject or somehow uh, give focus on the words. So be, uh, be extra mindful of that because that might be the answer. And then also, um, when Mother D will always tell us, um, every time na matapos po yung examination, to go back and just check, okay? And um, during my examination, I had around three minutes pa because I finished early and I went back and then I saw that uh, uh, yung mga capital ko, dapat i-capital ko na letters and that's a uh, thing that uh, I was able to check. And then uh, there were still some ano po, ano, yung mga raw uh, mistakes na na-correct ko pa. So yun ang mga ginawa ko during my listening examination. I just hope that the thing that Mother D shared with us will be also uh, helpful for all of us. So, um, okay. So, I, uh, yun, uh, Mother Okay, he's not still here. So everybody, uh, so um, th uh, thank you for uh, listening to this lecture. But I would like also to say uh, thank you, IFNG admins, G Sir Jeff, Mom Gladys, Mom Michelle, 
uh, Sir Marvin and also Sir Manuel because I, only, uh, I also started with IFNG uh, way back uh, last March 2021. I started with them and uh, I came to know uh, Elite, uh, uh, elite um, Intellect through IFNG. Hi, Cardi. Hi, everybody. So, ayan. Thank you, Mother. I'll give back the floor, the ceiling, the windows, and everything to you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ate Gail. Sir Joseph, sabi mo sa link 2-5 ang discount. Sabi mo, 3-5. 3-5, anak. Sabihin mo IFNG. O, alam na rin Ma'am Tanya ang sasabihin. Okay? Ma'am Tanya, ha, if you're watching this. Okay? IFNG. Okay? Sabihin nyo lang, I was watching the IFNG. Di ba? Hi, Ate Genji. Ate Genji is our... A tenured coach here at Elite Intellect. She is the one in charge of... Hi, Sir Jeff! Sir Jeff, hello! Oh my gosh, we miss you here! Okay, so yeah, guys, okay? Um, uh, Ate Genji right there is one of our tenured coaches. So she is also in charge of coaching the students one-on-one -on -one when it comes to their speaking examination. So guys, if you want to avail the promo of the 3,500 exclusive IFNG Discount again, no pay only 3,999 instead of 7,500. Send a message to our Facebook page and tell Montanya IFNG, okay? Or in type nyo New Year promo, okay? All right, so let's continue with our. I'll see you in class very soon, my children. Okay, my new children. Okay, so you're to bakayo lagi sa elite. Baliwan kayo lagi. Oh, oh, araw araw kami ng tanong yung mga elite students. Lahat ng students ano? Luka, luka, luka na dahil sa akin. <laughs> okay. So, what is another tip that I would want to detail? Okay, ito. Some students are practically confused on how to write down their answers on the listening. Focus, 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 my children. I will be teaching you on how to write down your answers on the listening examination of the IELTS. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right. So, how to write down your answers properly on the listening exam? Okay. So, first things first, guys. Okay. You may write or type in all caps. Okay. You may write and type in all caps. <clears throat> You may write or type in all caps, okay? But guys, no, <clears throat> there is a software that the IELTS is using with which on the computer delivered test, it does not accept all caps. So you listen carefully to the instruction of your interlocutors or your course conveners on your exam day if you are allowed to type in all caps. Kung hindi, it should be a combination of big and small letters. But guys, the all caps writing is only applicable for reading and listening, okay? Reading and listening only. Do not apply it on your writing, okay? Your writing should be a combination of big and small letters for the examiners to assess your capacity, okay, when it comes to writing, okay? What else? If you have two answers, okay, guys, you may separate them with a comma, okay? Do not write down end anymore kasi baka mamaya sa word limit tayo magkaroon ng problem. Mamaya mag-uusap tayo tungkol sa word limit, okay? If you have two answers, separate them with a comma. Okay, with a comma. Okay, so an example of that one, let's say, is oranges and apples. Okay, so ilagay, oh, ilagay lang po oranges, comma, apples. Okay, don't write down a symbol like a slash, hyphen, the word and. Okay, it's no longer required for you to do that. Okay, what else? Make sure your answers are grammatically fitting for the question. Okay, make sure that the answers are grammatically fitting for the question.
Okay, so sometimes you would need to adjust the grammar of your answer. Okay, sometimes you do have to add an ing, an ed. Okay, there you go. Okay, so for you to make sure that you are grammatically fitting. Okay, wah, kakalay blang kahapon si Manuel Buna. Okay, Sir Jeff. All right, <clears throat> all right. So let's talk about this. A lot of students love this so much. Okay, word limits. Okay, Sir Joseph. If I did not follow, if I did not follow, <laughs> if I did not follow the word limit on the IELTS, is my answer going to be incorrect? Yes. Okay. If your word limit, or if you're not following the word limit, my love, unfortunately, your answer will be incorrect. That's why I'm always training the students here at Elite Intellect on their computer and mobile delivery. Don't luwag pascal ng isang koma. Mali na agad ng sagot mo. Okay? That's why I want them to be trained as stringent as that. Okay? So as to ensure that they are following the word limit. Okay? So let's talk about word limits. Okay. So you always see these instructions right here. Okay? Write no more than three words. Okay? No more than three words. Okay, so if that is the instruction, my children, so you may write down at the university. <clears throat> okay, Sir Joseph, what about it is, if it is no more than two words? Okay, so for two words, the university. Um, Sir Joseph, what if that is one word only? Okay, if that is one word, my children, then just write down the. Charing. <laughs> of course, we're going to be writing down the noun, okay? So that is university. Okay, there you go. Write down university. Okay, all right. So look at that, okay? Sir, what if that is three words and or a number, okay? Sometimes you might encounter this on the examination, okay? You have three words. And or a number. Guys, you have to remember on the examination, numbers are taken as a unit, okay? Okay. One unit. Kahit gaano pa karami ang number na yan. An example of this one is 113. Okay, so 113 that is taken as just one number because it's taken as a unit, not as individual numbers. So it's totally fine. Okay, it's still counted as one. Okay, so here's an example. Let's say it is 118 Goodfellow Street. <clears throat> Okay, let's say yung good fellow eh hindi iisa. Okay, so how many words do you have and how many numbers do you have? Okay, so you have uh, word one, word two, word three, one number. Okay, there you go. So it's taken as a unit. Okay, just enrolled. Hope I did my first best choice. And, oh, thank you, Maritas. Welcome to class, anak. Okay, so that is three words and or a number. Okay, what else? What if, Sir Joseph, that is two words? Okay. Oh, yeah. Two words and or a number. Okay. So that would be 118 Goodfellow. May ipala siya. Sorry, guys. Okay. All right, so that's one, one, three, good fellow. Okay, so look at this one. You have word one, word two, one number. Okay, look at that. Okay, sir, what if that is one word and or a number? Okay, one word and or a number. Okay, one word. And or 
a number. Okay. So if that is one word and or a number, then just write down 118 good. Okay. So that's the rule. Okay. When it comes to writing down your answers. Okay. Look at that. Right. If you are doubting the word limit that you're about to write, just take a look at this handout, mga anak. Do you want to take a screenshot of this? Okay, take a screenshot. Come on. Come on, watchers at, and, at, uh, on, and on Facebook, okay? Take a screenshot. Pa screenshot na lang po, pa mind na lang po. Mind blue. Mind blue. Okay, pa screenshot na lang po, mga moms, mga sis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you so much. Okay, there you go. May nag-a-angry na naman. Huwag kang magalit, anak. Kung may galit ka sa mundo, huwag kang manood. Sorry. <laughs> may pa-screenshot, di ba? Okay, there you go. Take a screenshot, guys, so that you have a copy of the Mind Blue, sabi ni Ron. <laughs> I am lost in the discussion because I need to devote. Okay, Anak, don't worry. Okay, so look at this one. All right, so look at this one, Diva. You should have a copy of this one so that when you are in doubt with the word limits, okay, more time to screenshot. More, that, more time to screenshot. Okay, sige, I'll give you more time to screenshot. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Ay, huwag kayong ano dyan. Online seller din ako, no? Kung minsan nakakay nakakayamot yung nagbebenta ka online, binibenta mo, bag may nagtatalong cheeseburger. Si Raulo ba? <laughs> Nakakaloka. Okay, good. So you, need, you now have a copy of your word limit right there. Okay? So if you are in doubt with your word limit, just look at that copy right there. No? Dapat pala maganda ako dun sa screenshot. Yung baka mamaya nakangangapa ako dyan. Okay. So what else? What are, the, what are more rules that you would need to remember when it comes to the listening exam? Okay, so first things first, guys. Singular answers should be kept singular. Okay? Singular answers versus uh, singular versus plural answers. Okay? Guys, if the, if, if the question states... Plural answers, okay? In, on the recording, let's say ang sinabi niya ay bags, okay? Then, if you have written down bag only, then that is incorrect, okay? If you have written down bag and the question is expecting for you, uh, if you have written down bag and, and the question is expecting for you to write down bags, then, of course, that is incorrect, okay? What else? You may omit articles, okay? Omit articles, Okay, A, an, and the. You can completely take them out, okay? Tanggalin mo na sila because they are just accessory information on the listening examination, okay? So I think that's it for tonight. These are the things that I would want you guys to know when it comes to the listening examination. I'll give you a copy of this. Now, guys, this is a series of listening lectures, okay? Next week, humanda kayo dahil I will be teaching you guys on how to answer, okay, map. Okay, maps. Yes, maps when it comes to the listening examination. All right. So before we end our class for tonight, guys, the continuation of the secret to success is I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Okay, this is from the book of Psalm 16, verse 8. Okay, so guys, let's pray, let's pray for each and everyone who attended this. Uh, live lecture quickly for tonight. Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you again, Lord God, for another opportunity to glorify your name and to help the students preparing for the IELTS examination. Lord, know the will of their hearts. You know that they are the ones who need this for their future. Lord, give them, okay, their targets course on the examination. And Lord, thank you so much for the new students who have discovered Elite Intellect Line. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, guys, so next week, ha, mga anak, I will be teaching you about Okay, <clears throat> I will be teaching you about 
the maps, okay, of the listening examination here at IFNG. Same time, that's Friday, 9 p.m. PHT. And again, guys, before I bring back the floor again, our New Year New Goals IELTS Review promo is an exclusive 3,500 peso discount to all the watchers of IFNG. Okay? Instead of paying 7,500, pay only 3,999. That is lifetime and unlimited review. Okay? Lifetime and unlimited review with unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay, guys? So... That is the end of your discussion. If you want to send, if you want to avail of our um, promo, it's open for 15 slots only. I think some of the slots are already taken. So send a message on our Facebook page right there. It is at uh, it is at the Zoom platform. Okay, it is at the Zoom platform right there, and of course, uh, it is also on the comment section of your Facebook Live. Okay, so I'll see you guys in class very soon. Thank you guys so much. In behalf of the staff of Elite Intellect 9, Mom Zaya, Sir, uh, Sir Jello, Mom Zaya, Mom Tanya, Mom Charm, Mom Jerlene, Mom Genji, and of course, Sir Lloyd, this is your Mama Dragon sending my love to you from the Philippines. I'll see you next week, mga anak. And for my new babies, I'll see you in class tomorrow. Okay? And of course, Sir Manuel, back to you! Hi, sir. Michelle po. Hi, Michelle. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you po, sir. Um, our very own Mother D. Thank And you. And always you. lively ang discussion. And uh, um, thank you for all the um, tips. Actually, I got all those um, tips from you. So um, practice lang, practice to everyone. Just make sure you practice lahat ng tips na binibigay ni Mother D. Very effective po. And Thank looking so forward, much. sir, for sa mga susunod na um, ano pa natin, session. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank See you, you next guys. week. Thank you for all the viewers.